everybody. This week I thought we'd do something to put some positivity and laughter and happiness into the world by creating some rock paintings with funny positive messages on them. So here's the items that you'll need for this craft. Obviously you'll need some rocks, some paint brushes, paint, some permanent markers, um, you can use colored pencils, and then you'll also need something like uh, clear Rust-Oleum enamel to coat the rocks if you're going to keep them outside. If you don't have rocks, you could use like a plank of wood or something else that you don't mind leaving outside. So. The first thing you need to do is go outside and find your rock. Okay, so I found this rock outside and as you can see, it's really dirty. So I'm gonna use this old toothbrush, do not use a new one, and wash it off a little bit. Get all the dirt and this has old grass on it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. You can see all the dirt's coming off. Okay. After you wash your rock, you have to wait for it to dry. And while it's drying, you might want to look up some things online, such as these. You want to look for something that is positive or funny or inspirational to make someone smile or laugh or make them feel better during this tough time we're in. I painted this rock because I thought it was funny. Dear Rock, I win love paper because paper covers rock in rock, paper, scissors. To do this one, I had to paint the white background first and let it dry for about 10 minutes. So if you're going to put a background on your rock, you have to do that all over the rock first and let it dry before you decorate on top of it. So for this rock, I want to use the words, be kind. So I use my thumb to make the yellow part of the B for B, and I'm going to write with a pencil the word kind so that I have a, um, an outline to go over in either paint or marker. Okay, you can use a couple different techniques to do the painting part. If you want, you can use a Q-tip and just go over it one dot at a time. Like that or you can use a real thin paintbrush if you have it. Like that. That probably would have worked out better, but I just want you to see all the different techniques. Or you can use a Sharpie. Probably the easiest. Okay, so right now this yellow part isn't really quite dry, but I do want to show you that you can make the stripes on the bee and the antennas and the wings. So I'm going to use, um, actually I think I'm going to use a Sharpie to do that because it seems easier. So you can make little bee antennas, and then you can make the little wings. And I'm not going to do the stuff on top because as I said, that's still wet and you can kind of see where I touched it and got the paint to come off on my thumb. So that's just one, one kind of inspirational thing you can do with many different ideas on how to get the paint there. On darker rocks, you may need to just use, use um, specifically paint. 
and just go really slow. I couldn't use my pencil um, to write the words, so I have to freehand it. The best kind of paint to use is probably an acrylic, um, but these are not acrylic paints. So I am gonna have to seal them if I plan to put them outside, which I do, because I want these positive messages to go out to everyone around the community. Now, that one's done. Um, if you only have basic colors, like I do, If you only have basic colors like I do, you'll have to remember your color mixing. So if you remember, you put yellow and red together, and that makes like an orange color with the right amounts. Can you see the orange there? Starting out orange. And then if you put red and blue together that makes like a purpley color with the right amounts here get a little more red in there so that makes like a dark purple color you can see that and then if you mix the blue and yellow together you're gonna get green. So that's how you can get different colors if you're stuck with just basic ones at home. You're gonna need your parents for this part um, because you're gonna be using some kind of clear coat to seal your rock if it's gonna be out in the weather like today is raining. If that was the case and you didn't clear coat it, you would have your paint run all over the place. Um, so you're just going to have your parents help you and you're going to spray right on top so that it, it sets the paint and the marker. Um, if you don't have the clear coat, you can use probably Mod Podge or something like that. From the designs we worked on today, that last step you probably want to do outside. Hope you enjoyed um, spending the afternoon with me and painting rocks with a positive message or a funny little um, design on them to bring some positivity into the world. Bye now.